All right, here I'm going to demonstrate the edge mapper. Um, it's really good when you're mapping objects that are like cylindrical or um, cylindrical or tubes shaped. Um, to map this would be a pain because you'd have to do a cylindrical map and then you'd have to map the top and straighten all those edges. So the way edge mapping works is you select an edge and this will be your cut edge. Um, if your object's open, you don't need to cut any edges. But since this object is closed, uh, we'll add these as the cut edge. Um, then you select two edges. Um, it's best to have those as interior edges and as far away as possible, uh, distance-wise. Um, then you hit edge mapping. So now you can see you have somewhat of a clean grid. So if you go and select your edges, all your edges, and you hit quick straighten UV edges, what this will do is it will go and straighten all your edges for you. So now you have a nice clean grid. Um, you could then go and re quick scale it to make sure that it's scaled correctly. So now you have your object map uh, very clean. Um, so let's try this on a tube shape. So now you have a tube and what we will do is we will select the cutting edge. Um, we'll add those and you can see that those are now added there and select two parallel edges that are as far away as possible. And we hit edge mapping. And now you get something that's like this, right? So you can go select an edge and hit the line shell edge horizontal. It will make that shell horizontal. Uh, select all the edges and do the quick straighten edges. And now you have a nice clean grid. You can go back and hit a quick scale again. And you can see that it scaled it. So you have, you're going to get some stretching, right? Because of the nature of the shape. But um, that's basically the edge mapper. Um,